These are the different pieces of our shoe. So we get the tip right here, and then the middle part, and then this thing, like that, is the back part of our shoe. Now, we're going to um, transfer this on this roll of thicker paper that I have here, um, but because this is terrible contrast, um, I'm just showing you on my cutting mat what we'll be doing. The parts that are flat or flat-ish, you can basically just uh, draw a projection of the shape on this paper. However, specifically at the tip and at the heel, um, your tape will be very curved. And so as you can see, I've cut into the tape here to be able to lie it flat. We're going to do a similar thing at the heel, where I've cut into it so I can open it a bit and it can lie flat, or should I say flatter. Now, how much you cut in, um, you have to strike a little bit of a balance. Um, if we do not cut at all, all right, let me just have this 3D shape like that. If we project this shape down, then the filling of our toe piece will have to be done entirely by stretching the letter over to sort of create this extra space, right? Now, if there's too much extra space, it's going to be too hard, and we're going to have to stretch the letter too far. On the other side, if we cut this open and then we put it around our toe, then we're going to have excess material here at the edge that we're going to have to bring to the back and try to avoid folds in the letter. And if we get too much of that and too many folds we get to work with, that's also problematic. So you want to find a bit of a balance and sort of cut into it. But like this is now entirely flat, right? And that's probably a bit too much. So I probably want to like keep this a little bit closer together. A bit more like that. And then trace that shape so that we have a bit of a balance where we can stretch the letter, right? But we don't, uh, and we're going to have to work a, a, a bit of folds away. A bit of both and not just only one right here at the heel i've done a better job you see i cut into it but it's not entirely flat yet right also if i would open it up more here it would just bunch up here right so i'm going to try to find this sort of middle ground right and that will work i'm going to transfer this over this paper which is a little bit thicker sturdier paper from the roll i bought once um, and then once we've transferred that we're going to add seam allowance so don't draw them right exactly next to each other yet because we need to add seam allowance i'll do that now Okay, so I've traced the three parts. I've made the lines a bit thicker with this marker so you would see what's going on. Now we need to talk about seam allowance, right? So everywhere where um, it's the edge of the shoe, so every part that comes here on this edge, we're going to add one inch or two and a half centimeters of extra seam allowance because we need that to get around the shoe, right, with our pliers later and tighten up the letter, right? We need grip there, we need to be able to work this into the sole, so we're going to add one inch or two and a half centimeters, right? And then the toe is going to go over this part, right? So the toe stops where it stops, and this part we want to extend one centimeter, or like about, what is that, three eighths of an inch, to that side. And we're going to do the same at the zip, so we can attach the zip there. And then this middle side, sorry, this is where the toe will attach. And then this extra will go under here, right? So I'm going to add the seam allowance there. The only thing where we haven't added seam allowance is um, on the inner um, sort of edge, but we're not going to add it there because it's just going to be cut off. We have <coughs> our different pattern parts ready, and we're now going to cut out the letter for the upper part of the shoe. So that's basically the, the part of the shoe that you see. So we're going to have a purple and black shoe, because I'm a sucker for purple, so I could not resist this height when I saw it. Um, so this I will just cut out and it will be ready to, to go. This I will cut out the toe part and then we're going to dye it. But first we need to cut it out, making sure to respect the seam allowance. Cutting out, you can try to use scissors if you have a hefty scissor, scissor um, but it typically works better if you cut it out with a knife on a cutting mat. Um, maybe this goes without saying, but we're making two shoes, one pair. So I've traced this once for the right side because I, I put the masking tape on the right uh, shoe last. So this is the right side, I marked it with an R. And then you flip it around for uh, um, the mirror image, and that's then the left side. Um, we're going to mark this on the, the back side, the bad side of the letter. And before you do that, make sure to check that there's no um, holes or anything or damage on the on the good side of the letter. Once you've got this traced, we're going to cut it out, uh, and then later I'm going to do the same in my uh, purple letter. 